by Mozart, Schumann, Grieg, and Chopin. Dr. Driscoll will begin with a performance of Mozart's Piano Sonata No. 13 in B-flat major, Kirschel 333. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present for your enjoyment Dr. Catherine Driscoll.
Thank you very much. We've just heard a performance of Mozart's Piano Sonata Number 13. Dr. Driscoll will continue her program with music of Robert Schumann, his Chrysleriana, Opus 16. Schumann founded the first magazine for music in 1834, and in 1838 merged literature and music into an extended fantasy he titled Chrysleriana. The name derives from the main character in several novels by E.T.A. Hoffmann about an eccentric and mercurial Kapellmeister conductor named Johannes Chrysler. The work's eight movements move from fiery tumult to deep introspection, reflective of both Chrysler's character and Schumann's own persona. Schumann considered it among his best piano works and wrote to Clara Wieck, who was not yet his wife, that she had figured prominently in its composition. I am overflowing with music, he wrote, and beautiful melodies now. Imagine, since my last letter, I finished another whole notebook of new pieces. I intend to call it Chrysleriana. You, Clara, and one of your ideas play the main role in it, and I want to dedicate it to you. Yes, to you and nobody else. And then you will smile so sweetly when you discover yourself in it. Unfortunately for Clara, Schumann ultimately chose to dedicate the work to Friedrich Chopin, possibly to reciprocate for Chopin's dedication of his second ballade to Schumann. We'll continue our program now with Robert Schumann's Chrysleriana.
Thank you, Dr. Driscoll. We've heard Dr. Catherine Driscoll performing Schumann's Chrysleriana. The concert this evening is presented by RK Cultural Productions and co-sponsored by the Florida International University School of Music. RK Cultural Productions is a Florida arts organization, 501c3 nonprofit. RK is able to offer this event free of charge due to the generous contributions of dedicated, dedicated music lovers like yourself and with the support of Miami-Dade County Department of Cultural Affairs and the Cultural Affairs Council, the Miami-Dade County Mayor and Board of County Commissioners. Riza Kern, RK Cultural Productions, is committed to continuing to employ and properly compensate performing artists during this difficult period. So donations are greatly appreciated. A few words about our soloists this evening. <clears throat> Dr. Catherine Driscoll has shared her love of music with thousands of students across several states and at Miami-Dade Public Schools and Miami-Dade College. In 2019, she joined RK Cultural Productions as artist in residence and outreach chair, bringing their popular Bach to school programs to students across Miami. A concert pianist, Catherine began her studies at age six, and at age 11 studied at Dartmouth College with Lydia Hoffman Behrendt, who was a student of Ernst von Dokniani. She holds master's and doctoral degrees in piano from Indiana University School of Music, where her teachers include Balint Vashnyoni, Dokniani's last student, and Alfonso Montesino. We'll continue our program tonight with excerpts from the lyric pieces of Edvard Grieg. Norway's Edvard Grieg's music is among the most recognizable of the Romantic period's nationalist composers. Grieg was celebrated and beloved in his native land. The Norwegian government bestowed on him a lifelong stipend in 1874. In 1885, he built a home at Trollhagen near Bergen. Today, it houses the Edvard Grieg Museum. Grieg was introduced to music by his mother, who was a talented amateur pianist, but it was largely due to the persuasion of the Norwegian violinist Ole Bull that a musical career came about. Bull advised Grieg's parents to send the 15-year-old Grieg to the Leipzig Conservatory in Germany for training. Several years later, upon graduation, Grieg might have returned to Norway as a German-trained musician, producing the kind of music expected from a Leipzig alumnus but instead he went to Copenhagen in 1863, where the renowned Danish composer Niels Gade befriended him and inspired him to form the Euterp Society dedicated to promoting Scandinavian music. Grieg wrote that I learned for the first time to know the nature of Norwegian folk tunes and my own nature. A mist fell from my eyes and suddenly I knew the way I had to take. The ingredients for the lyric pieces were now in place, with one further addition, because in 1867, Grieg married his cousin, Nina Hagerup, who had become the chief interpreter of his songs. The same year saw the appearance of the first collection of lyric pieces. Grieg had found his muse, his muse and discovered his, his musical voice. We'll now hear four of Grieg's lyric pieces. March of the Trolls, Grandmother's Minuet, Cradle Song, and The Wedding Day at Trolldagen. Dr. Driscoll.
Thank you, Dr. Driscoll. We've just heard uh, lyric pieces of Edvard Grieg. We'll continue with music of Frederick Chopin, the ballade number one in G minor, the nocturne number 17, and the waltz number one in E flat major. Maybe no composer is more omnipresent in piano recitals than Frederick Chopin. As Alan Walker wrote in his monumental biography, Frederick Chopin, A Life and Times, the sun never sets on Chopin's music. Chopin has become to symbolize a nation. He is Poland's best known son. Is there any other composer of whom similar things could reasonably be said? Tonight's program includes two earlier works, the Opus 18 Waltz in E flat, written in 1831, and the first Ballade, written in 1835. Some have speculated that this long narrative ballade was inspired by poems of the Polish poet Adam Mickiewicz, who was a friend of Chopin. However, no direct links to any works by Mickiewicz have ever been proven, and Chopin himself hated programmatic music and extra musical associations, so it's unlikely that this piece tells any specific narrative. The next to last nocturne in B major is among Chopin's very late works and reflects a deeply personal, poignant intimacy. And we will conclude the program tonight with Chopin's Waltz Number no. 1 in E flat major, which Madame Driscoll tells us is what inspired her to take up the piano. Music of Chopin. <laughs> 